11. All right, we're going to look at verses uh, 25 and 26. All right, now, how many of y'all have got a, uh, a KJV? Got the King James Version. All right, how many of you got an NIV? All right, listen, if you've got an NIV, verse 26 is down in the, in the footnotes. Let me tell you why. Um, some of the uh, original sources, texts that they got when they were uh, completing the Bible, um, the King James Version included 26 in the verses, whereas the NIV, it was translated later on. Some of the Dead Sea Scrolls didn't have verse 26, but it was written in a bunch of other places, so they put it down at the bottom. So now you know why it's, it's down in the bottom instead of up there, because every source didn't have it in it originally, so they just put it down at the bottom. But let me tell you, it's in other places in the Bible, and this is what it says, all right? Because what matters is what the Bible says, right? Amen! Verse 25, this is what the Bible says. And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive him so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. And then verse 26 says, but if you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven um, forgive you your sins. So, what we've got here is a lesson about a key to heal what is breaky in your soul and heart. Do you see what that says? Okay. Huh? Do you see what it says? All right. Keep staring at it. Sooner or later, you will think of Billy Ray. Cyrus. Are you now? Are you thinking about Billy Ray Cyrus now? Because it, it says achy, breaky heart. You see it? Ain't that awesome? All right, I, 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 just, I just thought that was way too cool. All right. Now, on, on with the message. Let me tell you. The key to healing our hearts so often is not that our hearts are broken because of, of uh, something that has happened, but our hearts get broken sometimes because of what we're harboring, what we're holding in our hearts. I'm going to just give you a very quick, simple uh, message tonight, okay? This is a, a, a reminder about forgiveness. Forgiveness is something that each one of us needs to make sure that we experience. We need to experience in our hearts by receiving that forgiveness that we crave from God. Each and every one of us have been separated from God at a point in our life because of sin. It caused us to be separated from God. If you have in your life, in your heart, any type of... Uh, Mm, what's the word I'm looking for? Sense. Any sense at all. You will know that when you sin, that causes there to be separation between you and God. Nobody feels close to God when they're sinning, do they? No. You don't. When you sin against God, it creates distance between you and God. So the reason we don't feel close to God sometimes is because of sin. But let me tell you about a sin that gets overlooked a lot of times. It's called unforgiveness. Because when we harbor things in our heart, when we don't forgive people, we're not hurting that person. We're only hurting ourselves. Y'all have heard this, right? I just want to remind you about this tonight. This ain't new information. You know this, right? Sin is bad. Sin separates you from God. Forgiveness is, is practiced. It's something that you do. Therefore, you cannot do it, and that makes it a sin. We are told to forgive. The Bible says right here, verse 11, or chapter 11, verse 25, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive him, so that your Father in heaven will forgive you. And if you do not forgive them, then your Father in heaven won't forgive you. So very simply is this. If you are holding something against someone else without forgiving them, I'm, I'm not 
concern whether they're asking for forgiveness or not. If you're not forgiving somebody for something they've done to you, then that is sin. Because God is not going to forgive you of the sin of not forgiving them. So if you want to be right with God, then you've got to seek that forgiveness from God but at the same time, if you are receiving that forgiveness from God, then you've got to give it to everybody else. Does this make sense? Everybody else in your life that you could ever have anything against, you've got to forgive them. You, if you hold that against them, let me tell you what's happening. That person that you will not forgive... If you choose to not... And I've heard people, Kaylee, say this before. They're like, uh, I just can't get along with that person. I, I don't want to have nothing to do with that person. I'm just going to write them out of my life. I'm just going to act as though they, they don't exist to me. I'm just going to cut ties with that person. We've even said in church, some people you got to love from a distance. You can't get close to them, you know. Well, let me tell you something. That person that that you need to forgive is not your enemy, they've actually become your master. See, because what has happened when that person made you mad, when that person did something to wrong you, to hurt your feelings, whatever they did, in that moment, instead of forgiving them and moving on with life, they changed you. And when that person that you need to forgive but you won't, when they changed you, they became your master instead of your enemy. So when a person upsets you, then they are robbing you of your joy. When somebody does something to, to make you mad, they are robbing you of your peace. They become your master by changing who you naturally are, who God created you to be. So when someone makes you mad and you don't forgive them, then you're doing exactly what Satan wants you to do. If somebody says something wrong or wrongs you in any kind of way, instead of just forgiving them and moving on with life and doing what Jesus showed us to do, instead we harbor things. We hold them. We carry these things for years. How many of you still remember something that somebody said something to you when you was a kid? Somebody might have called you ugly or fat or stupid or something like that, and you still believe it. Because you won't forgive. I don't know how to forgive. I don't know how to forgive this. Some people have had horrible things happen. Especially when you're, when you're a kid. People do stuff, say stuff, because they think that you're, just, you're, you're not smart enough to have a life. You're not smart enough to, to be offended or to be hurt. And so people will just take advantage of children. And I think, honestly, I'll say this right to the camera, let's put it on video. I think anybody that, that takes advantage of a child should be shot in the head with a hammer or shot with a gun. Yeah. Because if you can find a gun that shoots a hammer, that's pretty impressive. Maybe a, a, a thunderbluss or something. What's that called? You know, they got muzzle, like a muzzle, got a big, it can shoot a hammer. But anyway, if you mess with a kid, you ought to be shot. There you go. How's that? Kids growing up, and let me tell you this, there's a lot of kids with a lot of stuff on their mind that um, you grown-ups ain't thinking about. There's a lot of stresses that we don't, we don't even know about. There's a lot of things that have happened in people's past that haunts them. I want you to know that it ain't got to haunt you no more. It don't have to haunt you no more. God made a way that we could be whole again. And the only way that we can be made whole again is by accepting His forgiveness. Right? That's the only way that we can be whole again. Accepting His forgiveness. And if you have accepted the forgiveness from God for your sins, have you also forgiven everybody that has sinned against you? 
Listen, I know it's hard. I know it's hard. I know there's some things that you wish you could forget. That would make it a lot easier. I know that. But understand this, folks. We're just here for a little while. We're on this planet for a little while. And there's, there's some really treacherous stuff that's going on. There's some really hard things that, that go on in our lives. Stuff that is just unspeakable. Jesus didn't die on the cross for you to be haunted by that. He died on the cross so you can be forgiven. And so that you could live forever. You could be reconciled with Him. You could wind up, no matter where you were in life, no matter what happened to you or what was said to you, you can be whole again because of Jesus. He can take that that peace that somebody robbed from you and He can give it back. He can take that joy that was taken away from you when you were a child and He can give it back to you. He can take that insecurity that was just heaped on you when you were little, when you were changing, when 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 you looked like alfalfa and somebody was making fun of you. Jesus can take and give you back your self esteem. I know that Christ can make you whole. Especially when it comes to forgiveness. But folks, like the Bible says, forgive one another, because if you don't, Christ is not going to forgive you. So this is not just me trying to, you know, get you to forgive some folks. I want to also warn you, if you don't forgive other people and God don't forgive you, y'all, that's hell. I mean, ain't that what happens to people that don't have their sins forgiven? Don't they go to hell to pay for their own sins? If they're not, if you're not forgiven by God, then you got to pay for it. So that tells me, this scripture right here, these two verses, if I don't forgive you, then God's not forgiving me. Then I'm going to hell. So I may have a bigger problem than I just can't get over it. I may have a bigger issue than I just just can't let go of this. I may be lost if I can't forgive. Not just hard-headed, but lost. Folks, if you've never forgiven folk, anybody else, why? That's what we want to ask God for help with tonight. Are you forgiven? And if you are, who are you not forgiven? Let's make it right tonight. All right? Let's all stand. We're going to... Um, Miss Alicia, if you would just play a couple of lines of something, we ain't got to sing. Y'all just take this time to pray and ask God to forgive you of anything that you need forgiveness for tonight.